Hi, this is Joanne Allenbaugh with Farms.com, and I'm visiting with Dr. Jean-Paul Cano, who is with Bowringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Inc. And uh, Dr. Cano, you had a meeting here in Des Moines prior to World Pork Expo, uh, talking about area control of PERS. Can you give us kind of a recap of that meeting? Yeah, um, it was uh, a meeting that we are trying to organize every six months for. Uh, given an opportunity for working groups doing area regional control in different areas of the country uh, to get together and share experiences and good stories and uh, bad things that have happened so they can learn from those mistakes and and then provide another uh, update and research and what are the tools that are available. So we had nine actually area regional control projects presenting their updates, what they have been doing, what's the next steps that they have to go through. So it was really good on Wednesday afternoon and then Thursday morning we have uh, experts from different areas, biosecurity, uh, risk assessment, uh, mapping, all the tools that we have available today and share experiences and uh, that update with uh, members of those working groups so they can bring that to get, uh, back to their groups and share with the uh, producers and veterinarians in those specific areas. Mm -hmm. And what was the general attitude of the, the researchers and the others who were at those meetings? I think it was really positive and uh, people was uh, saying that well this is the first time that we actually do something like this and share openly share experiences and stories of uh, what we are trying to do and the key point here is that this is such a tough this is that it will take a lot of collaboration and communication between producers, veterinarians, universities and organizations to move forward and to control the disease in a sustained way. So this is why we are really excited because there is a motivation in the environment that people want to do something that really works and is sustainable. So I think it was all, all positive. Mm -hmm. One of the things that uh, kind of separates this project from some of the other eradication projects in the past is that it's completely voluntary. Tell us a little bit about that and how the focus has been on local leaders. Yeah, that's that's a really key aspect of the area regional control projects. It's all voluntary. Uh, leaders, uh, local leaders, veterinarians or producers uh, feel the need of doing something additional to the individual farm control for purse virus because other farms in the same spot, in the same area, put uh, some farms at risk. So they basically share the risk. So they want to work together to reduce coordinatedly the risk for those farms. And what what we are seeing is that there is there are veterinarians and producers in those specific areas that want to take the leadership and moving uh, all the producers in that area through that control area control phase and that's what is happening now so this these people is very motivated and trying to do something in that area and finally dr Kano, the role that Bowringer Ingelheim has taken on this has certainly been one of leadership. Tell us about some of the things the company has done to provide support for these projects. Yeah, as I said before, I was a, a swine practitioner just six months ago, and f for me, the fact that uh, Bowringer is so committed to this idea and, and spending uh, resources and investing uh, technology, resources, time on, on this idea is, is really interesting for me. It's different to whatever uh, we have seen before. So they are or actually we are right now trying to support working groups in different areas. They keep to be the leaders and they take the decisions, uh, but we are trying to provide with a standard templates, protocols and information, update and uh, knowledge and giving them some expertise and use uh, of tools that they can apply for moving forward with this project. So what we are trying to do is uh, helping them to, be, uh, to increase the chances of success in those projects. Well, it appears we're making great progress, and I think when we come back to World Pork Expo next year, we'll have even more good news to report. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Cano. I appreciate it. Thank you.